installing software in this video i will show you how you can install softwares packages into linux operating system so in this video i will show you how you can install software using yum tools and rpm command yum tool is the primary tool for getting installing deleting acquiring and managing red hat enterprise linux rpm software packages from red hat software repositories as well as other third party repositories so what is repository repository is a collections of software packages sometimes when you try to install some packages into linux operating system so you cannot install it without a dependency of it some software require to install dependency uh, before installing package so repository is a, a collection of a database information for packages it's it, it very well know which dependencies is required to install specific package into linux operating system so in this video i will show you how you can install packages and how you can gather information about software packages using yum tools so let's begin so for demo purpose i have created yum repository into these machines so let me list repository using yum repo list command it will show repository information repo name is a package so main configuration file of yum is slash tc yum dot com it stores repository configuration information you can also store yum repository file in this path slash tc slash yum dot repos dot d i already created third party repository into slash tc yum dot repos dot d it's a yum dot repo so let me open it yum dot repo so repository name is packages I store software packages collection to this path. Enabled means this repository is enabled, and I don't want to check with GPG information. So let me list package information of yum. It will show you. it will list information about yum packages if you have a group packages you can list using yum group list command but we don't have group available now you can list installed package using yum list installed command it will show you all installed package into your machine then you can list ftp package if you want to list sshd it is not available it's not matching httpd is available you can list installed package using yum list httpd yum search it will list all packages they contain ftp in their name description and content it listing all packages 
they contain FTP in their names and in their contents and in their descriptions. Again, I am firing this command. Then you can use yum provides command. It will show you package information for this path. For this file, you require to install this package. For this path, require to install VSFTPD package. For this path, require to install this package. It is package name. It is package version information. It is package release and its architecture information. If you want to install package like if you want to install VSFT PD package yum install VSFT PD it is already installed if you want to remove it yum remove VSFT PD now let me install SSHD package is not available open SSH Oh, package is not available. Still, it is not available. You can install HTTPD. Yum install HTTPD. Download size will be 1.5 MB. Install size will be 4.3 MB. Is this okay? If you want to download, press D. If you don't want to install it, press N. If you want to install it, press Yes. It will install HTTP package into this Linux machine. If you want to remove it, yum remove HTTP. Uh, if you want to update package information, package is yum space update. There is no any update available. If you want to list kernel information, yum list kernel, it will show you installed kernel into your machine. Kernel version name is 3.10.0. You can also gather information of kernel, installed kernel using unem r Then, if you want to information about yum commands, you can see using slash where slash log yum.log. It will show you information about yum logs. We installed HTTPD package and then we removed HTTPD package. So you can gather logs information of yum command from this path. You can also get the history command information of yum. So we erased some package and we install some package. If you want to undo, 
we use yum history undo number two it will install httpd package again yum history if you want to use number three yum history undo three it will install stdpd package you can also use number 4 it was history command so now let me explain about rpm command if you want to query to install package you can use rpm hyphen q yum there is no any package with the name of ftp but vs ftp is available it's installed yes it's installed let me remove it now again run this command it's not installed let me install again and run rpm hyphen q httpd it's installed you can also query to the file which package is required for this path you require yum package which package is required or www.html path you have to install httpd for slash where slash www slash html path you can also query for all files like configuration file documentation files and all files path information for VSFTPD using rpm space hyphen q hyphen l space package name so you can see using rpm hyphen q hyphen l we can list all configuration and documentation files information for VSFTPD package you can list only configuration file information using hyphen c option you can also search for documentation file using hyphen d you can also query for scripts that runs after installing package or before installing package so you can search for script that run after installing package or before installing package or if you want to download something uh, like uh, Firefox right this is the path where where we store our repository information
it is loading Firefox, you can see in this path I have created a source folder. If you want to download something like uh, copy link location, let me open new tab. And just paste path here to download the file. So, if you want to download something, you can use wget command. You can also search using but VSFTP service must be started to access it. So let me start VSFTP service first. system ctl status resource status of vsftpd it's open So you can download files from internet or FTP or HTTP from other computer. Use wget command. It will download file. You can see file has been downloaded if you want to remove it use rm hyphen i have downloaded it and removed it again i am downloading using wget command it's downloaded you can also download using yum downloader command let me download vsftpd package it will download VSFTPD package. Let me remove it. It will remove any files or folder available in this folder, in this desktop folder. Let me download again. If you want to install it using RPM command, use RPM space hyphen I VH and then package name. It will install package. I means install, V means verbose. It will show you information verbosely. And H means has. It will show progress report in has value. So, hope you understand how you can install any packages, software packages, or remove it using RPM command and. Uh, yum command you can get help of a uh, yum command using yum help you can also get help of rpm command using rpm space hyphen hyphen help so thank you for watching this video